In this video, let's talk about the squamous cell carcinoma. The squamous cell carcinoma is mainly caused by the prolonged sun exposure or the immunosuppression. These two are the main pathogenesis of the squamous cell carcinoma and the etiological agents include DNA damage, P53 mutation and some events that leads to the dysregulation of the signaling pathway. The various predisposing conditions Xeroderma pigmentosum, HPV5 and 8 those are the induced infection of autosomal recessive disorder Epidermodysplasia verisiformis, solar keratosis, chronic inflammatory conditions such as chronic ulcers and chronic osteomyelitis. The osteomyelitis is of draining type and the old burn scars are the marjolins ulcer, chemical burns, psoriasis, HIV, ionizing radiation and the industrial carcinogens like coal, tar, some oils and in some case of cancers like oral cavity cancer caused by the betel nut and tobacco usage. The squamous cell carcinoma may arise on any part of the skin and mucous membrane. Those are lined by the squamous epithelium. And the most common locations of the squamous cell carcinoma are the face, pinna of the ears, back of the hands and the mucocutaneous joints like lips, anal canal and the glans penis. The cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma arising in a pre-existing inflammatory and degenerative lesions has a higher generation of the incidence of developing the metastasis. Let's talk about the morphological features. The squamous cell carcinoma Let's talk about the morphological features. The first one is gross. Grossly, the squamous cell carcinoma of the skin and the squamous line mucosa have two patterns. The first pattern is an ulcerated growth with the elevated and the indurated margin. And the second pattern is less oftenly seen and it is a raised fungating growth it is fungating or polypoid varicose lesion that is found without ulceration. You can see it here, the fungating or the polypoid growth and here the ulcerating growth and microscopically the squamous cell carcinoma is an invasive carcinoma of the surface epidermis that has a irregular downward proliferation of the epidermal cells into the dermis. Depending on the grade of the malignancy, the masses of the epidermal cells show a typical feature in the size and shape of the cells and nuclear hyperchromatization is seen and absence of intercellular bridges and individual cell keratin and individual cell keratinization and the occurrence of the atypical mitotic figures and the better differentiated squamous cell carcinoma have world arrangement and they form horn pearls. These are the keratin pearls and these are the whorls of the malignant squamous cells and the dermis is invaded by the downward proliferation of the epidermal masses of the cells and the higher grade of the squamous cell carcinoma have fewer or no horn pearls and may instead have high atypical cells. And the uncommon variants of the squamous cell carcinoma may have spindle shaped tumor that is called as a spindle cell carcinoma and the adenoid changes may seen in some portions of the squamous cell carcinoma that is called as the adenoid squamous cell carcinoma and the varicose carcinoma it is also called as Ackermann tumor it is a low grade variant and it is mostly located in the oral cavity with the superior portion of the tumor resembles the vetica that is a hyperkeratosis, parakeratosis and acanthosis and it differs with the squamous cell carcinoma by the downward proliferation of the cells and there is a lack of significant cellular ATP in this Ackermann tumor. The squamous cell carcinoma is often well described 
are the well differentiated type moderately differentiated undifferentiated keratinizing non keratinizing spindle cell type in the prognosis of the squamous cell carcinoma is induced by the actinic keratosis the superficial invasive tumor may metastasize locally in the prognosis of the deeply invading tumor depends upon the tnm staging all the variants of the squamous cell carcinoma show inflammatory reactions between the collection of the tumor cells while in pseudocarcinomatous hyperplasia there is permutation of the epithelial proliferations by the inflammatory cells so the microscopic features of a well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma is the dermis that is invaded by the downward proliferation of the epidermal masses of cell in the horn peel appearance those are with central laminated keratin and there is always an inflammatory reaction and there is always inflammation between the dermis and the masses of the tumor cells so guys this is all about the squamous cell carcinoma if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists